At the start of the 2020 NFL season, John Wolford was ranked by NFL.com as the worst backup quarterback in the entire league. It made sense at the time for a guy that had been playing in the Alliance of American Football and had been cut by the Jets. Wolford had even started working in finance before receiving a call from the Los Angeles Rams. After seeing no action the entire season, Week 16 injury to starter Jared Goff had Wolford be declared the starter for the final game of the year against the Arizona Cardinals. The stakes could not have been any higher as a playoff berth was on the line. Initially, it looked as if Wolford was going to lose the game for the Rams, having the first pass of his entire NFL career intercepted. But he settled down and led the Rams to a victory-clinching playoff berth. Wolford also ran the ball six times for 56 yards, showing that he had mobility unlike Jared Goff. Following his Week 17 performance, Wolford was named the starter for the wildcard game against the Seattle Seahawks. He only made it halfway through the first quarter before a controversial hit by Seahawks safety Jamal Adams knocked Wolford out of the game. He was out for the remainder of the playoffs as Jared Goff started in his place. After the season, it was expected that there would be an open competition for the starting quarterback job between Goff and Wolford. But with the blockbuster trade for Matthew Stafford, the next step for John Wolford is uncertain. Wolford will obviously remain as the backup for Matthew Stafford, and barring injury or extremely poor play, he will not see the field. The question is, does that one game generate enough interest for teams to offer a trade? Many teams in the NFL would be better off with Wolford under center, such as the Chicago Bears, who will be parting ways with Mitchell Trubisky this offseason. Whether he is a Ram or not, I wish the best for John Wolford, and I hope he succeeds wherever he may end up. Thank you for watching.